Taurus, my name is Alison and you are with Healing Dove Tarot. Taurus, today we're going to have a look at the love energy surrounding you from the 20th to the 24th of September. Um, but before we get into it, I do want to apologize for not having the readings done since the 2nd of September. I know that's been a lag of almost two weeks. I'm so sorry. Um, sometimes personal life just gets in the way, right? And I've had an amazing couple of weeks professionally. I've been celebrating with friends and family um, and I put myself first. So um, big shout out to all of my regular subscribers who emailed me to check in to make sure that I was okay. You are adorable and the reason why I do this channel. Um, to the newbies who've just found me, um, you know, hopefully you'll still stick with me because I am I am going to be bringing these readings back thick and fast. Um, and look, you have some really great energy here. So let's get started. Taurus, at the bottom of the deck, we do have the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so the Knight of Pentacles, this shows me the energy that you're coming into this period with. That's again from the 20th to the 24th. The Knight of Pentacles is like the slowest moving knight, okay, of the deck. The difference between this knight and all other knights, however, is he always reaches his goal. He always reaches his destination. He always achieve, achieves what he needs to. Um, and I feel like for you that this energy is coming in uh, thick and fast and with clarity. Someone's making you an offer when it comes to love and it's a not concrete offer. Now, in terms of signs, I do have a Virgo coming up quite strongly. Um, I also have Taurus, Gemini, Gemini twice. Um, and I have potentially for some of you a younger um, uh, air sign. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay. Um, now look, this person is either making an offer to you or you're making an offer to them. And it feels to me like you're coming out of this period of being kind of like in reflective mode, in hermit mode, kind of trying to decide, is this what I want? Is this where I'm going? Is this what makes me happy? Um, and you've got the clarity now. Um, you've needed to make a choice. And I feel like now someone's coming in and they're communicating clearly. We are coming up to a full moon. Um, and just before this full moon, you do have the wheel of fate turning in your favor. Okay. I feel like as you get to the weekend in this full moon, you do have a choice between two lovers and you will make that choice. And if it's not a choice between two lovers, then this could just show me the energies that surround you, that there's a, a real um, deep karmic kind of um, love around you. Okay. Again, it could be um, this Virgo that's coming in. It could be... Um, a Gemini um, or a younger air sign. Now for singles, um, you could have been seeing someone and, and you're like sick and tired of them to make an, an effort, to make an offer. Um, and you've either been juggling two people or they've been juggling two people. Or for couples, it's like um, um, you're finally getting the clarity. You're finally making that connection to take things to the next level. And it looks really beautiful. Okay. Um, this cycle, whatever, whatever stage you're at in this kind of connection, this relationship, whether you're single and dating, whether you're seeing someone, you're letting it go, whether you're seeing someone taking it to the next level, it is ending. The cycle is ending. You have the world here. So whatever this lesson is, this karmic lesson that you've needed to make a decision on or learn, it's, it's ending. For some of you, it could be a Virgo that's returning from your past and you're completing, you're closing out that cycle, okay? The relationship will never be the same again. It's ending, you're moving on. For others of you, I really do see that the wheel of fortune is turning in your favor. And for those that have been single for a long time, you're finally starting to get the, the clarity that you're ready for something new. And there is that energy around you of actually help, having something that is divinely guided, okay? And I feel like when it comes to the new moon, when I look at your readings for the next week, I feel like that offer will see more cups on the table. At the moment, it's a lot of mental energy. It's a lot of swords energy. It's a lot of figuring out exactly what it is that you want and where you're going and how you want that to look. Okay. All right. Let's get some additional guidance for you. Thank you, Spirit. Can I have some additional guidance for Taurus singles? Can I have some additional guidance for Taurus singles? Observe, number 12. And for couples, can I please have some additional guidance for couples? What do couples need to know? There it is. Peace. Yeah, it's really about finding harmony in couples. But I could see that already. Ending a cycle so you can find more balance. 
All right, couples, we have observe. So let me read this to you. It is saying, um, hope if I had the right book. <laughs> um, 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 um. So it's major arcana again. And I think I said that to you. You've got this major arcana energy around you, guiding you. Observe's all about the hanged man. So it's kind of like a, an, an equal kind of measure of the hermit, right, of this kind of um, situation that you're in, trying to decide what it is that you want. And the key words are release, surrender, reconsider, patience, cycles, perspective. Okay, so this is for singles or people that are um, non-committed, not boyfriend and girlfriend, that kind of thing, dating, sleeping around, that kind of thing, right? And it says, a new understanding around matters of the heart is waiting to be revealed to you. Be still and observant. Now is not the time to take action. Instead, take a step back and wait. Reflect upon the relationship or issue. What is really happening? Release the need or desire to direct the relationship and simply go with the course of events. When you surrender to the experience, you'll learn a great deal and ultimately get what you truly need. Sometimes it's in releasing that we discover what we really need as opposed to what we think we need. Trust the process, have faith in the journey and let go of the outcome. Although forward progress may appear to be slow, now is the time for patience. All things come in the appropriate time and cycle. Progress in improving a current relationship or finding a new relationship will happen when the time and energies are right. When you're open and perceptive to the needed change, it will happen. During the process of simply observing, you can also gain a new perspective on your situation. How might you think differently about it? Look at your relationship through the eyes of an impartial stranger. What insights might that stranger offer you? Listen to the observations with an open mind and heart. By taking a fresh look, you'll bring in new energies of awareness and transformation. And the message says, I now take a step back and observe my situation in a new light. Okay. And for couples, peace, 23. I like this card, okay? This talks about finding that happy medium. And it says, when two people are in true alignment with one another, they have an innate harmony between them. It's as if they are two perfectly tuned in instruments playing together. Sometimes it's impossible to tell who is who. Peace is yours and it is to be savoured. Okay. Um, beautiful reading for you there, Taurus. I think there's a lot of messages, you know, for some of you, it's really about observing, um, your role and what you play in relationships. And for others, it's about, um, being in a nice, happy alignment and balance. And I feel that that's the wheel of fate turning in your favor as you come into this full moon. I hope you found this reading helpful. If you did, please like, share and subscribe. I'll be back with you next week with the full moon updates. Thanks. Take care.